<laughs> Hi, we're glad you could join us here at Lehman Ministry Studio. I have in our studio Pastor Swamidas Johnson from India, and we're just talking about how long we've been working in India, and it's been, what, 20 years now? 20 years. 20, oh, man, and you've been working with our ministry directly for uh, something like 14, 15 years, about like that. Anyhow, we have a lot of interesting things happening in India right now, and so we're going to give you a quick update. And Pastor Johnson just came to the United States and is spending some time with us here in Idaho. And I just came from India just a few months ago, and we have a new DVD out that, uh, and television program you might have seen on 3ABN called India, Fishers of Men, and I just encourage you to get that. But Pastor Johnson, um, this is 2014, almost the end of 2014. What kind of things have happened this year? You know, we built a new studio and we had a lot of things happen in, you know, into 2013, into 2014. What kind of things are going on this summer and this year? This year is the year of evangelism. Uh -huh. By God's grace, 2014, so far we have given 716 baptism. Mm -hmm. And we are waiting another three months that we will reach thousand baptism this year. We, our team, all our Bible workers, enter into 10 unended territory that no Adventist presence so far. And we were able to plant six new churches in the city of Chennai. So when you say we planted six new churches, do you mean that there's some people meeting, couple, like four or five people meeting in a little house someplace? No, it is not like four or five people in some places, 50, 60 people, and some places uh, 25 to 40 people. And we usually hire a place on the top of the house and put a temporary roof, something like that. And then the conference will appoint a Bible worker to take care of the church. So this mm -hmm. is not a, a kind of house church or something. It's a real church. So they have a designated church. Yes. And then down the road, what Layman Ministries usually does is that we help acquire property yes. in different ways that happens sometimes. Yeah, right. And yeah. then we build a, a building yes. there. Yeah, it is not and only uh, worshiping or uh, giving baptism. We, uh, do, we do the groundwork and mm -hmm. hold the evangelistic meeting, then forming the group Bible study, then church, then buy a property mm -hmm. and building and follow for it's like, a long journey like you say it's a package deal yeah so we had uh, um, several different interesting things happening this year i know we got publishing we can talk about we have the studio now that's going we're working on web page design and doing different things like that but let's talk about the bible workers for a second uh, we had a couple years ago we had 12 bible workers yeah and then we doubled it to 24. What do we have now? Right now, 29 Bible workers. Yeah, so when I was there just uh, several months ago, I met some of the Bible workers there. We have three ladies and two men, I think, now. And uh, I got a picture of them standing out in front of the, the studio there. And what, what is the reason that you're, you're trying to work in that area there? Just because we're, we're kind of out in a rural area, you wanted to try to establish churches close by the studio? Is that what you're thinking, or you just want to use it kind of as an outreach center? Basically, you are right. Both points are valid. Mm -hmm. But our goal and our aspiration is to reach the unreached, share the three angels' message. Mm -hmm. So that is our main goal. So our main goal is to share the three angels' message and plant the new churches in unendered territory. And also, our studio is there. And only we have a studio and equipment. And if we don't have a church around our studio, there is no <laughs> use in that. So we want to implement in our studio area, then go to the new place. So how is the plan working so far with the Bible workers using the studio as kind of like a, a center hub for that area? Are they having Bible studies and have things happening there? It's uh, awesome because the things in this year, mm -hmm. Our Bible workers enter into the six area in that place, the six wow. unended territory. Because in the daytime, mostly people will go for work. Because where our studio is, it's an agricultural place, farming, uh, farming place. So because of that, mostly people will be ladies and everybody will be in the workplace. Afternoon they come, then they cook, they take a rest. So our Bible workers will go 4 o'clock. 
But in the city... Four o'clock in the afternoon? Yes. Mm -hmm. In the city, our Bible workers work morning, but this side, in our studio side, our Bible workers work in the evening, four to nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you mentioned all the baptisms that are taking place. Are, we've always talked a lot about what kind of quality of people are being baptized. Are you feel really confident that the people who are baptized, they've gone through a whole process of really understanding what the Bible teaches and they have a, a solid foundation under themselves um, as far as what they believe? Yes, I'm sure because the main reason we are selecting a town or a village, then our Bible workers stay almost four to five months. Usually we stay three to four months. Now we are staying four to five months in a town mm -hmm. and we are visiting the homes the first month making a friendship the second month giving bible study then uh, evangelistic meeting then follow for so it is a kind of uh, it but, is not a simple gift but there's exceptions to the rules you talked about a young man by the name of sarvana for sa right. sa how do you say sa Savaninan? saravanan saravanan yeah. don't you just love those indian names saravanan you were and right he got baptized like that what was the situation with him the situation you are right there are some cases we have given a baptism in a short notice. With him, Saravanan, he called after our TV program. He watched our TV program. Actually, he didn't call. His mother called us for, a, for, for to pray for his son because Saravanan is going for an interview. Then we prayed. That evening, his mother called and said, uh, my son got an appointment in Singapore. <laughs> Evening, she called us and said, my son got a job, so I want to come to the church. The uh, same week, she and uh, his son, uh, she and uh, her son came to the church and they gave a thank offering and they asked me to pray. Then that week, actually, every alternate week, we have a baptism. So she saw the baptism. Then she said, I would like to join. Then we said, you need a time. But she said, I saw a miracle that you prayed morning, evening it happened. So I want to take a baptism. No, no, we will give you baptism after one month. But she told us, before my son leave, I have to take a baptism. And today, Saravanan is in Singapore and he sent money to his mother and, and mother purchased a small property for us to build a church in the city of Chennai in the northern part. So what you're basically saying is there's those people who are sincere at heart and you can recognize it and they say, I want to accept Christ as my personal savior and I, I want to be baptized into this faith. And they become active participants in the church and they learn as they're in the church and they're just sincere, honest people who really have a sincere desire to want to know what the truth is. And that was what happened with this lady. You are right, because yeah. even in the Bible, there are a lot of uh, examples we can see. Mm -hmm. In the book of Acts, a lot of examples. Mm -hmm. So there are... But that's, that's not our standard procedure. <laughs> we are, because there are some cases, one or two, but generally, we give a Bible study, all of our doctrines, then we give a baptism. Well, you're talking about evangelism, but we also are involved with revival meetings. How many revival meetings have we done so far in 2014? This year is a year of evangelism, 2014, for our union. So we have the Lehman Ministry as partner with the union, and Pastor Shadrach hold 25 revival and reformation meetings. Mm -hmm. And myself, and with our team, our young team, the technician, the studio with the camera, everything, 35 revival and reformation meeting. Wow. In some meeting, the union president came, union secretaries came. It's a kind of partnership between the union and the layman ministry. And kind of, and kind of trying to strengthen the lay people in churches that maybe are struggling and um, having um, situations where they're um, discouraged and things like that. So the revival meeting comes and it kind of helps them to 
I'll put a little bit of a fire underneath him. Here. It is focusing on prayer and the mm -hmm. lifestyle of the people and then the reading the Bible, giving importance. So Adventist mm -hmm. that everyone should get ready to meet Jesus. Yeah. So we are kind of focusing in the revival and reformation. Well, over, over the years, we've published a lot of literature in India, yes. a lot. I mean, thousands and thousands of books and different things. Have we done much publishing in 2014? What are some of the e yes. examples that you could give us? And also before that, I want to say this year we uh, finished 14 evangelistic meetings mm -hmm. because this evangelistic meeting is different and the revival and reformation meeting is different mm -hmm. because revival and reformation meeting just four days, five days, or some places one week. But the evangelistic meeting, it's a kind of covering our doctrines, going to unended territory, hire a big hall and holding a meeting. Mm -hmm. And in some places we had a good response and good churches, not only in the city of Chennai, around Tamil Nadu, even in the northern part of India, and Pastor Shadrach went to Andhra Pradesh because where we have a television show in Telugu language. He had a five meetings in Andhra Pradesh and good response we had. Yeah, praise God for that. Um, one of the things I just want to share with the viewers is this whole idea of native or national evangelism. The price that it costs for us to hold one of these evangelistic series in India is the same as the cost of an airplane ticket for one American to go to India to hold an evangelistic series. And so this is really an effective way for evangelism. It's cost effective. Between fifteen to seventeen hundred dollars we can hold an evangelistic series over there. And it's done by nationals with their own people group, with their own culture, and it's very, very effective. So publishing, let's talk about publishing. So what happened in 2014 with publishing? This is kind of like a year in review, you know? Yes. <laughs> and 2014, uh, we did uh, Steps to Christ, and we have printed, because actually in 1998, we have printed uh, Steps to Christ with Pastor Shadrach Samuel. Mm -hmm. no. Very popular book. Very yeah. popular book, and people asked, where is that book, and you have to give, because we did it in a good quality. So people asked to buy it by, by the grace of God. Again in 2014, we were able to print the steps to Christ and our division president, or John, that uh, he offered a prayer and he received the first copy of that. Mm -hmm. What other things did we publish in? in did we, we did uh, what, testimonies, counsels to the church? Yeah, counsel to the church and the Bible study material. Uh -huh. The three major things and we printed Great Hope. Well, wow, wonderful. Do you get a lot of response, uh, a lot of requests for that kind of material from our television programs in India? Yeah, the television program, also the people who are in Middle East, people who are in France and England, mostly, more than uh, Indian people, abroad, Singapore, Malaysia, they called us, and the relatives will come and take the books. Ah. And also, for your information, in all our, in the union, they have taken action. All our school should have a display in the entrance of the school of all our 11 ministry books. Wow, wonderful. So they have a kind of cupboard mm -hmm. and it's a glass is there and inside there are books. And if they want the parents, because some schools there are 4,000, 3,000 students are studying. Mm -hmm. we're, we're publishing a paper too, right? Is it a, like a magazine? Yeah, magazine. And what is the name of the magazine and what's the contents in it? It is a magazine of Saving Hands. The Saving Hands magazine, it's a name, Element, Kakun, Karangal, Saving Hands. Mm -hmm. So it's the Layman Ministries, Saving Hands Ministry in India. Mm -hmm. And the contents is one doctrine and gospels, some letters from the viewers, and some health tips, and some government, what is going on in the government around the globe, like that. Oh, so like current events, things like that. You were right. That's wonderful. Is it got a pretty good circulation? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are doing like uh, the last quarter because we have yearly four times we are doing. And last quarter we did uh, uh, 8,000 magazines. Wow. Yes. And so this year also we had some other unusual things happening. Uh, you sent me pictures of computers and sewing machines. Yes. What was that about? We have a studio, we have equipment, we say Jesus loves and Jesus is coming soon. But at the same time, I, I, we want 
do some community outreach to the people, people who are around us, people who are uh, nearby. So we thought computer is very attractive to the young people. So if the young people come, we will teach the computer. So they're coming to the upstairs area of our, our studio, yes. and it's a training center, yes. and you're using that as a, like a community outreach center. Our outreach center. Is it, is it have good response? You get quite a few people coming? Yeah, it's a good response because we started uh, almost now three months past around 15 students are coming because we don't want more students. Only have a couple computers, so you have to be careful. There. And also because we don't have enough uh, place, so just we want to do little by little. So we are not attracting too much, only that one village because... So this is kind of a way to build a relationship within the local people around the studio area there. Mm -hmm. And also the tailoring classes also attract the ladies so that Saturday they can come to the church. Because in our campus we have a church. And Friday, Saturday, Tuesday the church service is going on. So people come and can pray. Mm -hmm. So this kind of builds a relationship with the people in the community, and then they start ta taking an interest in the Sabbath services going on in the church right behind our center. Yeah, uh, that's really a blessing that that's happening that way. There was also some pictures I was looking at that you showed me about some blind people. What was that situation behind the, the blind people coming to the church there, and you're giving them clothes or something like that? One of our Bible worker returning from the work to the home, she was mostly our Bible workers travel in metro train. Uh, so she was on the train and she saw the blind people. Then and our Bible workers purchased something and she was talking what is her name and all that. Then he was telling and he is singing also. Some blind people they will sing and they will ask money. So then he, the, our Bible workers said, you are singing very good. Why can't you come and sing in our church? <laughs> Then she, uh, uh, he said, I will come. His name is Doss. Then uh, she, uh, he was so happy. So next Saturday he was in the church. And then uh, he, everybody appreciated his singing. Then we started to give Bible study. Then along with him, there are nine people have taken baptism. Nine blind people. Nine people. And the Bible workers, you know, I go to India every year and I... I personally sit with the Bible workers and listen to some of those stories and have them explain some of the challenges they have and the experiences they have going door to door in India, you know, targeting an area around Chennai, which is one of the large cities in South India, and going door to door. Some of the, the situations they have, people slamming doors in their face, people opening doors in their face uh, and letting them in, sometimes pushing them away and then coming back out and asking them to come in. But uh, can you think of a couple of the stories you'd like to share? Like the one about, uh, for instance, Jacob, a lady named Jacob, and, uh, and her friend. They were kind of a team that have been working together for years. What happened with them recently? Usually, our Bible workers go in the morning, and they pray near the bus stand or the railway station or some places. And uh, our Bible worker named Selvi and Emily, Mrs. Jacob, they were, as soon as they down from the bus, and then they were standing near the tree and they were just praying, okay, and talking where, where we will go, where, whether we will go this way side or this side, or they were talking because usually as soon as they get off, just they will talk, okay, we will go here or they will plan. Then immediately as they were talking, the group of boys were uh, laughing and making fun of, hey, what they are doing? Praying on the road. Why they are praying? So, so then after that, one guy, his name is Radha Krishnan, is a Hindu guy. He called our Bible worker. Then, uh, but our uh, ladies were they were very strong and uh, very bold. <laughs> so they went. What happened? And they said, Oh, can you pray? Yeah, we will pray. But what will happen if you pray? So they were asking, if you pray, it will happen, or this, or like that. There. And if you pray, something will happen to me, or if I get that, or something like that. So then uh, she said, our Bible worker said, no, don't play like that. No, we will play. Why you are coming and making uh, Try, us? Trying to convert people or something. People and all that, you are doing this and that. No, we are not doing, we will go. So then, with their boldness, they didn't go that side. They went to, to care. Uh, next turn and they went. Then the next day, again they were standing and making fun of. 
our Bible workers. And usually, in all the places where there is a bus stand, there will be a tea shop. A, a what shop? Coffee. A coffee, coffee shop? Coffee it's like shop. a tea and coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. So people, these young people or some kind of old people will talk and laugh, mm -hmm. make fun of somebody like that. So then, uh, what happened? One fine mark, that guy, he met an accident. And he met an accident, it's a severe accident. And then he was hospitalized. In uh, culturally, in our culture, if something happened, immediately they will ask, what you did? You did something against God or something like that. People, it is a, a kind of... You know, like the gods are punishing him punishing for some reason. Punishing something like that. That is the nature. So then uh, he told, I believe that I made this, this. I was making fun of those Bible workers. <laughs> then uh, because of that, then immediately his mother, uh, where you met them, then he said, I met them in the bastard. So she was came on the Friday. Friday they didn't go. Saturday, Sunday, then Monday, she was able to find. Because the Bible workers always carrying their their Bible books and have a bag and things bag like that, so you can kind of pick them out a little bit. Yeah, so what happened? What did what happened when she found them? She found them. Then she was happy and she was crying. Ma, you you have to come to my hospital and pray for my son. My, I please apologize what he did and all that he was talking like that. Then our Bible workers went and prayed. Then uh, he also delivered. But his mother attracted to our Bible workers and took a baptism. She, uh, so she started Bible studies with him? Bible study. So the mother of the troublemaker yes. he ended up being baptized. baptized. <laughs> and they are our uh, strong pillar in our church now. Wow, praise the Lord. And near they are in the worship. It goes to show you can't every, always judge people on the outside, you know, what's going on in their hearts. You know, people look at different people and go, oh, that person wouldn't be interested in. And uh, you find out later that they are oftentimes really interested in the truth. And also, for your information, our studio, by God's grace and uh, all because of all of our prayers and the donor's support, we were able to build a studio and uh, equipment, everything. By God's grace, this year, January, we started, because actually the studio started to function 2013, September 2. And September, October, November, December, the four month, 2013, we were uh, doing the conversion of all our world program into DVD to upload in the YouTube, because most of the people asked, Pastor Shadrach program mm -hmm. into the YouTube and all that. Mm -hmm. So we did all that work, website and all that. Then January 2014, mm -hmm. January till now, we were able to produce 45 episodes. 45 episodes, yeah. like uh, sermons and things like that? You are right. And then how many music videos, which are really popular, by the way, in India, music videos, or you have them on your television programs, yes. people glued to it. Yes. <laughs> that is eight, 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 why eight? Because we, we didn't have some equipment, just recently we purchased. So just we purchased two months back. So we just finished eight songs, and we have uploaded in the YouTube two songs and other things if the work is going well, on. Well, at the close of this program, we'll give a little sample of one of those music videos for our, our closing montage. Okay, yeah. and I, because of the, and right now, 2015, we want to have a new TV program in a new uh, con New look? Yeah, no, with a new look to the need of the other. And also to meet, actually to attract the end people because Pastor Shadrach, we, uh, for the doctrinal and conservative people, and one more show, we want to attract the young people and children because they are the future of our... Uh, of, uh, so true. True. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. Then we want to focus on the publishing. That is a major thing. We want to print great controversy because great controversy we printed in the year 1999. You know, we printed a lot of them too. I remember having stacks and stacks of them with Pastor Shadrach standing there and we had like this room full of great controversy, all gone. You are all gone. Mm. And now we want to print, but we want to print 
in a simple format like that. We want to make three section. Oh, make it like a three volume set. You are mm -hmm. right. And the color also a little different. So that, because if it is so big, people, it is not easy. Today, people are, even in India, they're not, they're, they're going to iPads and tablets and things like that and internet and laptops, uh, taking a book. And in, in when you take the book and translate it into the Tamil language, a great controversy goes from about this big to about that big. Right. So you want to break it into three sections. Three sections. Mm -hmm. so it, and also it will be cheap uh, because when the people buy, it will be very easy. They can afford to build. So what would it cost to print, like, like say, 2,500 sets of that? Uh, it is almost, it comes 7,500 years So dollar. that's something that's coming up for this next year. And what, what other books are we looking at? Then the Desert of Ages. Which we printed that one time too already. We printed in 1999. 1999. 1999. We okay. printed. And, and they're all gone. They're all gone because mm -hmm. the previous uh, uh, GC president Jan Paulsen inaugurated oh, or he got the first copy mm -hmm. of the great controversy and the Deezer of Ages and they're all gone now mm -hmm. and everybody is asking and we don't have that book and that book is a very important book for the new believers and we also wanted to, wanted, uh, we wanted to print in a three volumes mm -hmm. so that it will uh, reach to the unreached people and the important thing is Bible study material. We, mm -hmm. we want to, because we have a Bible study material we printed this year, uh, because we printed, they're also going to finish soon by end of this year. The main reason we want to print the amazing facts, historical lesson in a color form, mm -hmm. because a lot of young people are attracted to that one. Mm -hmm. So uh, we thought we will do in a color or color. Yeah, we've had that before in black and white, but yeah. when I showed you what we did in the country of Lithuania with the really nice four color ones, yeah. I think it's a really good way to go to represent the truth we have. Anyhow, our time is up, and I just want to thank you for watching our program today, and if you'd like to get involved with Layman Ministries, you can write or call us at uh, address shown on the screen, or contact us on the World Wide Web at uh, www.lmn.org. Dikatinale kanir perugail nambi kai tandi du me Yesu we nalvari kati du me sa 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 ni sa ni da da padani. Danny.